So everything you mentioned was about doing, mm. right? But you must become, mm. right? We know that be, do, have, yeah. right? So most people, they say, I did it, I did it, I did it, and I lost the weight, but it came back. I'm like, yeah, because you focus on the doing. Wow. You never became the person. Mm. I tell people, he tells me, I tell you. Yeah. Like, like he told us what to eat in the beginning. Yeah. Like food is the foundation. So we're not using any pills or potions. Or it's God's food. God's food will heal the body. Cells make up tissues. Tissues make up organs. Mm. Organs make up organ systems. Mm. Organ systems make up the organism, mm. the person, mm. right? And so, so, so what I need people to know is they, they, they control the quality of the organism. Like they control the quality of the system, right? Say, so how do you control it? By what you put in the cell. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. I know you want to watch this next video, but listen, if you are an entrepreneur, business coach, business consultant, or a small business owner who has a story and wants to learn how to create multiple streams of income from your story, I need you to text me right now. My book to 646-687-4152. That is my personal number. I have been an author for over 12 years. I've written 10 books. Four of them have been bestsellers, and I've sold over 100,000 books. But I've also helped a lot of my clients take their expertise and put it into a story, then create multiple streams of income from that. So I want to help you do the same thing. So text my book to 646-687-4152. Alright, alright, let's go back to the video. So welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash, the greatest money mindset show on the planet. Listen, y'all, when I tell you, and y'all know, we always talk about abundance and abundance being your birthright, but a lot of us are out here taking that too literally and eating an abundance of bad food, have bad health, getting in bad situations where we're not in optimal health. Well, today we have a solution because if I'm teaching you all these wealth principles and you're not healthy enough to be able to enjoy all of the financial abundance that is coming to you, that you are attracting, then what is the point? We have author, certified health coach, and personal trainer, co-founder of Sugar Ain't Sweet Health Coaching Program. She's She has helped over 10,000 people people over the last 20 years reverse chronic conditions listen y'all like type 2 diabetes high blood pressure high cholesterol chronic inflammation obesity and she's helped them achieve optimal help with the use of god's food ladies and gentlemen round of applause for rochelle t parks aka coach roach Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. AKA yeah, yeah. Coach Ro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I love it. I love it. Coach That's Ro. it. That's it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let me tell you, like, this is this is an important episode, uh, even for myself, right? So, um, you know, last year in July, you know, I so I, I've, I've always been an athlete, so mm -hmm. I've always had. Uh, a, a great body, you know, you know, never really obese, overweight, none of that stuff. Um, in July, though, uh, I tore my Achilles playing basketball. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I tore my Achilles, um, you know, I then, you know, started, you know, gaining some weight and things of that nature. Um, and simultaneously, as my health was going down, uh, financially, everything was going up. And, you know, the first time I was like, not necessarily nervous, but the first time when I, when I was like, Ash, you got to get your health, health together, it was like 2008 when my daughter was born. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, I got to make sure I'm around. Um, and then, you know, being at a, a point financially where like God is just pouring down abundance on you with that, to me, what that means, it's not about the money. To me, God just gave me more people to help. And so as I as my influence started to increase, obviously my, my finances started to increase, but I also felt a responsibility where people are uh, relying on me right. uh, to help them, right? I've helped so many people, 
But if I'm not in optimal health, mm. then then not only am I being taken away from my family, but I'm also being taken away from the millions of people that God has specifically put me on this earth to serve. That's right. Um, and so I, I came into this year and I said my, my number one priority is my health. Um, and, and, you know, my excuse has always been entrepreneurship, mm. right? It's always been work. It's always been entrepreneurship because, um, you know, you know, I was, again, I was an athlete, uh, but then when I got into corporate America, um, you know, I was working hard, hard hours, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was ambitious. Um, I got to the highest rank. Um, so from teller to personal banker to private banker, branch manager, CEO of a credit union. Um, and so I worked 60, 80 hours. Mm -hmm. Then when I became an entrepreneur, I was like, oh, I'm working too much, too many hours. I said, oh, I'm going to become an entrepreneur so, so I can control my destiny. Right. <laughs> and surprise, I'm, work I'm working the same or even yeah. more hours as an yeah. entrepreneur. And so I know a lot of our insiders, as we call them, um, have the same predicament. Mm -hmm. You know, they either work a, a you know, nine to five, they're making a lot of money, uh, but their health took a back seat because they work so many hours. Um, and the only thing that's readily available is fast food, they're eating late. Um, we got entrepreneurs out there who are, uh, they're on the grind. They're like, yo, this is my season. They, they, they go hard. Um, so this is an important episode and Absolutely. I appreciate you for being here and we're going to get into all of the, the goodness that, yeah. that, you know, I, I, I've seen with my own eyes, um, the level of transformation that you've provided, uh, for a lot of people. Um, and so we want to talk about all of that, but before we even start. For the people who don't know, who is Rochelle T. Parks? Wow. So Rochelle T. Parks, just a little girl from uh, Third Ward, okay, Houston, Texas, um, always had aspirations of, uh, I've always been interested in health and wellness, like, like from day one. Like everybody knew, like Rochelle's going to be a physician. I wanted to go to medical school. I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to help people. So science, health and science has always been a, a passion of mine, and so so the story I tell is, no, I, didn't, I did not go to medical school. I did take the MCATs, right? Went to, I didn't go to medical school. I, I don't wear a, a white lab coat, okay? But I'm still in the business of helping people. Mm. Like the desire never left. Yeah. It never left. And so you're looking at someone who, the baby of eight, eight kids, mm. okay? Um, so here we are today. I've lost both parents to preventable illnesses, and I've lost three brothers to preventable il illnesses. Wow. So we go from a family of 10 to now a family of five. So it's mm -hmm. me, I have two sisters and two brothers left. Mm -hmm. And so, and, and each one of them is dealing with something, wow. right? And so I'm like, like people don't have to die, mm. right? You don't have to die. You don't even have to be sick, wow. right? And so, but the issue is people don't realize they're sick. And so, and so, and so here it is, uh, as like, speaking of the entrepreneurs, right? Yeah. There are very few. Now, there's some people, we, we're dealing with two categories. Mm -hmm. You have people that know, like you said, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. You know, like, they know, I'm taking this medication. I'm not at optimal, you know, health, right? Mm -hmm. There's a group of people who don't identify themselves as being sick, mm -hmm. right? But out, so, cause, so let's define sickness, mm -hmm. right? Like, what is, what is health, right? Mm -hmm. if, you're, if, you're, if you can't sleep through the night... Mm -hmm. If you're uh, having like chronic body pains, right? If you have like people say my, my, my knees are shot. Mm. And I say, you know what? You shot them. <laughs> you shot them with the food. Like, like you are the gunman, right? right? Chronic knee pain, low energy, mm. okay? Migraine headaches, constipation. Like these things that we think you get when you get older. I'm 52 years old. Actually, I have no pains in my body. Mm. So I'm like, where is it written that you must hurt when you get older? Wow. Right, so, so, so for those people, I'm like, okay, maybe you're not on the medication yet, but let's, let's prevent you from getting on the medication. Let's turn, you, you're on a one way, and you don't even know you can turn around. Mm. Like, you're on a one way to sickness, mm. though. So let's turn around. So let's, let's speak to those people, right? And so I'm just here. I believe this is my assignment, my mm. God-given assignment. God told me when I was in the military, retire, mm. right? I'm a 30-year Army um, re a veteran. He said, retire. Like, like, I have work for you to do. Mm. So I, I heard him. You know, when the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit speaks to me, I listen. I heard him. I retired. I didn't know what I was going to be doing, but I heard him say, retired. I have work for you to do. So here I am mm. out here uh, saving the world one person at a time. Wow. Wow. And that's so powerful um, because, again, you know, I, you know, I'm I'm very into divine assignments. I think that um, when you think about um, all of the, the ups and downs, the trials, the tribulations, um, you know, 
everything is working for our greater good. Um, and all of it is part of our story, mm -hmm. uh, but it's also part of the assignment, right? There's only, um, a, you know, like a, there's a like like I believe like God handpicks every single person on here. You you've been handpicked for an assignment. And your job is to figure out, all right, what is my assignment yeah. and then move in that. That's um, right. And it's a blessing because uh, most times when you find your assignment, your assignment is going to be attached to serving people. That's right. Right? Because a lot of people talk about serving God, mm -hmm. but God is in people. So if you want to serve God, then you got to serve people. That's right. Um, and then once you... Um, realize that and recognize that, then you have to kind of move in your purpose. Um, how do you help people achieve optimal health? So first teaching them that food is the foundation. Mm. Like health starts at the cellular level, yeah. right? And so most people, I just give you just for, for example, like if, if you have a, something is up with your, your kidney, your heart, your liver, like you go to the doctor, they treat the organ, mm. right? But health starts at the cellular level. Mm. So you treat the organ, but you don't heal the body. Wow. Yeah. Right? Healing starts at the cellular level. Mm. Right? And so, so, so it's lack of awareness. Like, yeah. people don't know. So I help people connect the dots. I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, they say, Rochelle, like, can you help me with this? I said, okay, what are you eating? They said, no, no, I'm talking about my back. I said, I understand. What are you eating? Mm. No, my elbow. No, what are you eating? Mm. Because it started in what you put in your mouth. Mm. Right? It didn't start on the football field. Mm. It didn't start at the, like, there's some people who have injuries, but yeah. everything starts at the cellular level, right? Yeah. And so can I, can I give you a quick biology right, lesson? Like, go. okay, let's so go. here we go. Yeah. So, okay, biology in about, about to give you about 10 years and about two minutes, yep. okay? Yep. And so, so, and if you get this, you, you can, like, if you get it, you get it, right? Yeah. So if you break us down to our most basic unit, yeah. we're made up of cells, mm -hmm. okay? So, so here's the lesson, like, follow this. Cells make up tissues, Tissues make up organs, mm. organs make up organ systems, mm. organ systems make up the organism, mm. the person, mm. right? And so, so, so what I need people to know is they, they, they control the quality of the organism. Mm. Like they control the quality of the system, right? Say, so how do you control it? By what you put in the cell. Mm. So your input, like it determines the output. Mm. So the input is like your choice, like what you put in your body determines if you're sick or well. Mm. So, so, when, so when I say people start at the organ, I'm like, no, start at the cell. Start at what you put in your body. And so it says it takes 19 essential vitamins and minerals with nine, with, uh, nine amino acids with the perfect protein to make a perfect cell. Mm. Right? And you say, well, how do I get that? Right. With the food. Mm. God's food. Mm. God's food heals the body. Mm. God, that's it. Yeah. And it, when you say God's food, right, because, um, you know, if, if God is the creator of all, Mm -hmm. Then that, then that ham hock, ah! that chitlin, yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, all that, right, that 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 rib, mm -hmm. that sugary donut, mm -hmm. that that was made by God's child, okay, should be okay, God's food should be, yeah, okay, but it ain't, okay. okay? Yeah. God's food is meat, fish, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, grain, legumes. Mm. Anything outside of that is a lab experiment. Mm. It's not God's food. See, people think, so, so here are the three principles I tell people. To, this, if you live by these three, yeah. you can change your whole life. Yeah. Eat the food God called food. Mm. I just said it. That's principle number one. Yeah. Meat, fish, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, grain, legumes. Mm. Eat the food God called food. Principle number two, eat it as close to its original state as possible. Mm. You say, like, what do you mean? Like, no, okay, first of all, nothing trumps raw. Mm. You're going to get the most health benefit by eating raw, mm. okay? When I, I don't mean raw meat, raw <laughs> vegetables, okay? <laughs> right, right, right. He said it in, in Genesis 129. Yeah. Like, he said, eat this, not that. Mm. We want to eat this and that, right, okay? Right. Most people don't even want to eat this. They just want to eat that, <laughs> right. right? So that's what he said to eat, right? So eat it as close to its original state as possible. Like, like don't, don't kill your vegetables. Like, don't mm. overcook them. It should yeah. have a little crunch to it, mm. right? The cabbage, your broccoli, your, your carrots. Like, it should have a little crunch to it. When we overcook it, there's no nutritional mm. value, yeah. right? And God gave that to us for us so we can be healthy. Mm. That's, what, that's where we're going to get the nutrients from, yeah. right? Principle number three. Do not allow any food to become your God, mm. right? Like no addictions. We shouldn't have any addiction, no addiction to sugar, to coffee, like caffeine, mm. chips. Like when you say, I got to have it, that's when you don't need it. Mm. Three principles that yeah. will change your life. Yeah. Three. Yeah. No, that's powerful. That's powerful. So, you know, I read in your bio, 
um, that you've helped over 10,000 people in over the last 20 years yeah. reverse chronic conditions, right? right? And so you're talking about conditions that people are on medication for a lifetime. I'm talking about type 2 diabetes. That's right. Right? You say high blood pressure, high cholesterol, chronic inflammation, obesity. Um, what makes your program different? First of all, God is in it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he's in it. But but really, I tell people, he tells me, I tell you. Yeah. Like, like he told us what to eat in the beginning. Yeah. Like food is the foundation. So we're not using any pills or potions. Or it's God's food. God's yeah. food will heal the body. So so people say, well, Rochelle, like, what are you doing? Like, yeah. what, what, are, what are your people doing? They're eating God's food. Mm. They're moving their bodies and drinking water. It's just that simple. Yeah. I promise you. Yeah. But I monitor everybody's blood sugar, yeah. right? Because I learned that when you control your blood sugar, you control your whole life, mm. right? I'm wearing a continuous glucose meter right now. Mm. Am I diabetic? Absolutely not. Mm. I am not nowhere close to it. My yeah. A1C is great, mm. right? But everybody needs to know how their body is affected by the food that they eat, mm. right? So people are eating food every day and have no idea how it's spiking their blood sugar. So right. they're like, I eat healthy. I'm like, no, you, I'm, a, I'm vegan. I'm like, no, you're a carbitarian. You're not a vegan, okay? <laughs> right, right. Like, you, not, like you think you're vegan. Right. So people are more interested in, in uh, not eating dairy or meat than they are in eating more vegetables, mm. right? And so yeah. what I say is you got to keep the veggie and vegan, okay? Mm. Right. <laughs> you know, if you're going to do plant, then eat more, eat more vegetables. Right. Yeah. But you know, so yeah, we just I'm really literally showing people how to eat God's food, yeah. you know, how to move their bodies and drinking water and we're monitoring their blood sugar, right? Yeah. So so when you get to learn how your body is responding to the food that you eat, then you know, okay, I love this, but it doesn't love me. Mm. This is taking my numbers up every single time I eat it. This yeah. is no good for me. Yeah. Like I, not only I'm, I'm I'm now I'm becoming insulin resistant, I'm I'm pre-diabetic. Oh, now now I'm diabetic. Mm. And so what I learned is that Elevated blood sugars is the gateway to high blood pressure, to obesity, yeah. like like some cancers, dementia, mm -hmm. Alzheimer's. Like so, when you control your blood sugar, mm -hmm. you control your whole life. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just that simple. Yeah, and and t talk to us. So, so, I mean, you have a great story uh, with your husband. Yes, um, and and I, I remember my, my first time hearing it. It kind of moved me, right? Mm -hmm. Because I think that, you know, and I actually have goosebumps as I think about it now, um, because when I think about um, that union, right, the two become one, mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, I think about my wife and, and, and how, uh, how much together, like, we're so powerful. Yeah. Um, you know, I couldn't imagine, um, you know, m me not being here for her or vice versa. Um, you had a situation where, um, you know, you almost lost your husband. Yeah. Um, but through what you teach, you were you were actually, you know, able to um not only, you know, save him, but you know, he's living like, you know, like that's right. You know, when when we're when we're in masterminds, I see y'all both at the gym that's running. Right. That's right. Uh, talk talk to us about that story. So uh basically, so I've always I'm Rochelle T. Parks, and I'm the health motivator. I've yeah. been this person all my life. I, I was the go-to person in the military, at my church, and I'm over the health ministry. This is who I've always been. Yeah. Not my husband. Mm. He wasn't that person. We were not equally yoked mm. when it came to health and wellness, yeah. right? And yeah. so as a matter of fact, he would say the more I exercise, the more he was determined not to. Okay. okay. And so he just wasn't you were doing exercising it. enough for both. For both, right, right, right. He just wasn't doing it. And yeah. so not knowing, uh, he had a lack of awareness of his health, right. okay? Right. Not knowing the effect it was having on his body. Yeah. Right. And so so in essence, April 5th of 2020, I was rushing him to the hospital because he was in diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA. Wow. Wow. Right. Meaning his body was shutting down. His organs were shutting down. Wow. He was about two steps away from being in a diabetic coma. Right. Wow. And so I was noticing symptoms leading up to that point. But April 5th was the yeah, it had, that was like the apex. So I'm rushing. What were some of those symptoms? So so leading that? into that, I was noticing. Um, so I remember he told me uh, uh, he said, well, I've been drinking a lot of water. Mm. I said, OK, well, well, water is good. You know, now remember this. This is uh April 5th, and so so this is around March time frame, 2020. Yeah. This is right at the beginning of the COVID, COVID right? Yeah, yeah. He said, I've been drinking a lot of water. Um, and I'm thinking, okay, water is good. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't see an issue with drinking a lot of water. And so um, so March 13th, coincidentally, so I was a, I had retired from the military already, but I was a general manager at the Club Pilates studio, and God, God told me to retire. Mm. 
I had someone convince me to become their general manager. I did that, and God orchestrated that. Said I, I said go home, right? right? So I, re, so I put in my my two weeks resignation. Yeah. Uh, March thirteenth was my last day. Mm -hmm. Coincidentally, this was my my girl's last day of school, mm -hmm. right? Because that's when the country is shutting down. March thirteenth of twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. So that was a Friday. So I go home. Uh, my husband was still working out of the home. He was a, a IT professional. He's working out of the home at the time. Um, and then eventually he came home. So now we're all home. Now I'm really seeing how much water he's drinking. Mm. I mean, he was literally as like as he was finishing water, he was going to fill up literally. Wow. Wow. Like like I was saying, oh, no, you you drinking a lot of water, yeah. right? Yeah. And so then he was he was peeing a lot. Like every 15 minutes he was peeing. Wow. Uh, he he was I wanted sweet stuff all the time. Like he couldn't get enough. He was yeah. eating oranges like like these are so good. And yeah. I was like, just tastes like a regular orange to me, you know. And so I, I you know, but I, and then he told me he was losing weight, and I'm like, how in the world are you losing weight? Right. Like you're not even exercising, right? I didn't really know what was going on, yeah. right? So Coach Rowe, like the health motivator, I was just putting this little information in the back of my head. So the thing that 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 uh, and he was getting progressively tired, mm. like he was getting very lethargic, taking naps and mm. stuff like body was just shutting down. I didn't know it. Yeah. Right. And so he and my daughter were doing this little game in front of the TV where they were covering their eye and seeing how far they can move back away from the TV. And, you know, before it got blurry. Mm. Now, my husband has always had 20, 20 vision, mm -hmm. like always. I'm the one that wears glasses. Mm -hmm. He said it got blurry before I said it. I said, okay, this is something. So I told him, I said, man, I think your blood sugars are elevated. Mm. He said, why you say that? I said, these are classic signs of diabetes. You know, uh, uh, peeing a lot, thirsty, um, vision, you know, lethargic. And, and so I said, I'm going to go to the store and get a uh, glucose meter, some over the counter. Had never, I didn't even know those existed. Yeah. Never had a need for it. Yeah. Came home, I checked his blood sugar. It was 428, mm. right? So I don't know if you know anything about that, no. but that's I should have been taking him to the hospital mm. then. I didn't know. Mm. And I said, oh, no, I can reverse this. This type 2 diabetes, I know God's food reverses mm. this. So I started giving him, you know, salads, mm. you know, raw salads, uh, water. I gave him a smoothie, mm. like things that reverse. We got it down to about right above 300, never got it all the way down. Mm. He was getting progressively worse, progressively tired. Mm. He went upstairs. On a Thursday, Sam's gonna go upstairs and rest. He never came back downstairs until I was rushing him to the hospital wow. that that Sunday. And the only reason I took him then is because that Sunday, when I so how how it how it was, I heard, uh, I I over I, we were awakened that Sunday. He was talking to a friend. Um, friend said, like, listen, man, this is only this is coronavirus. Like, mm -hmm. just get some high tea, mm -hmm. you know, honey. Like, rest, let it blow over. Mm -hmm. um, I said, okay. I made the hot tea, whatever, gave me honey. I said, I don't think this is what this is. But anyway, I gave it to him. I said, I'm going to go exercise, mm -hmm. right? I go downstairs to exercise. That's why you got, when you, when you listen to the voice of God, right? Mm -hmm. I go downstairs, Ash, and God literally tapped me on my shoulder. I'm mm -hmm. telling you. I got a tap on my shoulder. He said, go check his blood sugar. Mm -hmm. I said, but I just gave him tea with honey. Like, it's going to be elevated. Mm -hmm. He said, go check it anyway. Mm -hmm. So I go upstairs. I check his blood sugar. It didn't even register. Wow. It just said high. Wow. It didn't even give me a number. Wow. He said, Ro, what does it say? I said, man, it just says hi. He said, what does that mean? I said, I don't know, but this can't be good. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Looked at it in the manual. It said, if it said hi, that means it's above 600. <laughs> now I'm thinking diabetic coma, wow. right? Wow. Rushing to the hospital. You got to tell my son, son, wake up. You know, I got to help, you know, help me get daddy down the steps. Now, my at the time, my husband was about 270. Wow. You know, 260, 270. I'm about buck 50, <laughs> right? I'm like, how are we going to get this man down these steps yeah. without falling, yeah. right? My girls wake up. They're like, daddy, what's going on? I, and I know. I, I tell the story. I say, I know that was God that woke those girls mm. up and brought them there because I didn't know how I was going to get them down the steps. But yeah. because he saw his babies, his yeah. girls, yeah. he mustered up every, every yeah. ounce of strength he had. We got him down those steps. Got him to the hospital, and, and the story goes, they were like, had you waited any longer, this could have been a different story. Wow. He, he probably wouldn't have made it, wow. right? He was literally slipping away. Wow. I did not know. And, and the blessing that he had to go to the bathroom every 15 minutes, the doctor said, had he gone to sleep, sleep, mm. he never would have gotten up. Wow. So it was the blessing that he had to go to the bathroom every 15 minutes. That's what kept him up. Wow. So him having to urinate saved his life, wow, really. Wow. Right? He said, had he gone to sleep, he probably wouldn't have gotten up. So he got him there. They were able to uh, stabilize his numbers. While he was there, I was home in the lab, Ash, cooking up a plan, okay? Yeah, yeah. I was in the kitchen cooking up a plan. Mm. I put together a plan. And so as he was, you know, getting better, I was sending him videos. That, like, watch this, do this. Like, this is what we're going to do. Like, this is the plan. When you come home, this is what we're going to do, yeah, right? Yeah. And I know people thinking, like, well, he didn't listen to you before. Like, what make you think he going to listen now, right? Yeah. And so I said, listen, 
I've been with this man now. At the time, it was uh, close to 30 years at the time, right? Mm -hmm. I said, how many people know a husband and wife can have a whole conversation and not part their lips, okay? It was all in the eyes. Right, I knew he was ready, yeah, yeah, okay? It says, yeah, yeah. It says when, when the student shows up, the teacher will appear, yeah, okay? Yeah. He had shown up, and I knew, yeah. right? So he was discharged April 9th, right, mm -hmm. like four days later. Mm -hmm. They told me he was going to be on medication for the rest of his life, wow. right? I saw my husband stick himself with insulin four times a day in his stomach gruesome right and he was taking metformin today they said you will be on this medication for the rest of your life i said the devil is a liar mm. okay we came home we immediately implemented the plan in eight days he was done with that mm. medication eight days eight days april 17th wow that medication is still sitting on our refrigerator door wow. as a reminder of what was wow. okay we were done mm. we said we got to share this actually my husband said ro God did not save me to keep this to myself. Mm. We must share this with the world. Wow. I said, let's go. Wow. Let's go. Wow. And then now, you know, fast forward. I mean, he's in great health. Yeah. I would have never known he was 270. All right. Exactly. Right? Exactly. I would have never known that. that yeah. was, that's the first for me. Yeah. Right. So now he's in great health. Um, and then now you've been able to also um, help a lot of your students. Talk a little bit about, you know, some of the success you've oh, had wow, with your students. Oh, wow, wow. So, so well, when this thing first happened, he was having great success. I was even losing weight. I said, man, we have to get, I have to get somebody else. Like, nobody's going to believe me. They're going to be like, oh, Chris, you, uh, Coach Rowe, and it's your husband. Like, I said, we have to get, like, an ordinary person. Yeah. And I had, I had someone call me, okay? Tanisha James, mm -hmm. a.k.a. Tooker, called me, mm -hmm. like, out of the blue. I'm saying out of the blue, but it was God. Yeah. Sent her to call me. She said, Ro, you still selling shakes? I need some shakes. I said, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you don't need no shakes. <laughs> you need coaching, okay? I knew that was God yeah. saying, this is it. That was the olive branch. Yeah. Okay? You need coaching, right? Yeah. So I said, okay. So her, um, she was 240 when we started. She's lost 90 pounds, wow. right? Her husband was 450. Wow. He was 450. He got him down to about 275. Wow. Okay? He was 450. Wow. Right? So, so I mean, just so many. We've had people that was on uh, blood pressure medication for 30 years. We mm. got him off in 30 days. Mm. I mean, we're getting people off medication like in as little as seven days, honestly. Wow. A day, two days, three days. My husband, husband was eight days. We thought that was something. We've gotten people off in two days, in one day. Wow. Right? That's the impact of God's food. Wow. And people, they think it's difficult. I'm like, it's not. Yeah. Like, they, they're complicating it. It's yeah. really simple, yeah. right? But you got to want it. As he said, you got to want it as bad as you want to breathe, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. And, yeah. and it's, it's simple. So I just, I just, I asked Tanisha one question. I said, do you trust me? Right. She said, yes. I said, okay, then this is what I need you to do. Right. That's all I'm asking people. Just a leap of faith, just the faith of a mustard seed. Right. I yeah. promise you. Yeah. And your life could be totally different. Yeah. And in and, and, and 30 days, 60 days, in a week. Yeah. So, but so, so, what about right? Because right now, you know, uh, there's somebody watching, they're, they're listening, um, and they're like, "This sounds good," um, but diabetes runs in my family, mm. right? Or you know, all of, all of my family members were obese, yeah. right? Yeah. What about those people who? They just weren't lucky when God yeah. distributed the gene pool. Yeah, now, well, it's not in the genes. There are mm. no diabetic genes. There are mm. no high blood pressure genes. There are no uh, high cholesterol genes. There are no uh, obesity genes. Wow. There is a gene called the familial gene. Mm. And if you continue to do that which is familiar to you, mm. meaning if you keep eating like your mama ate and like Big Mom and Papa, if you keep doing what they did, mm. right, chances are you're going to have what they had, wow. right? And, and I know that to be true because I told you all of my people died from preventable illness, like mm. high blood pressure, diabetes. Like, I don't, I don't have that because yeah. I change. Yeah. So you have to change. You can't continue to do what they're doing and expect a different outcome. Yeah. You have to change. Yeah. Change begets change. Yeah. And, and, and so g give, us, give us some tips, right? Because, like, you know, I know um, that there's a lot of people that go through – Sort of like ups and downs yeah. like when they're trying to get through their health. And I mean, I'm 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 one of them where, you know, I'll be like, all right, this month I'm cutting out bread, you know, and then, you know, I cut it out for a little bit and then it, it calls me back. Yeah, or, you yeah. know, somebody does a detox and then yeah. they do a keto diet and yeah, then they do yeah. like there's all these different things. Like, what is the first step for anybody who's looking to permanently yeah. create optimal health? That's a great question. And I would say the question I would have for anybody is this, who do men say you are? Mm. Right? So everything you mentioned was about doing. Mm. Right? But you must become. Mm. 
Mm. Right? We know that be, do, have. Yeah. Right? So most people, they say, I did it, I did it, I did it, and I lost the weight, but it came back. I'm like, yeah, because you focus on the doing. Wow. You never became the person. Mm. So the first thing you have to claim is I am. Mm. Like, like whatever comes after that, like I am are two of the most powerful words in the dictionary. Whatever comes after that will find you. Mm. They will follow you. So if it's I am healed, mm. then you have to do the things that a person that's healed would do. Mm. If you say I am healthy, Mm. You can't say I am healthy and then eat the donut. Right. <clears throat> you see, so it starts about becoming. Right. Right. And then when you become the person that can do the thing right. consistently, mm. you will have the results for the rest of your life. Mm. So you must become. See, most people think I do it and then I'll become. No, 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 no. Mm. You have to become. Yeah. Yes. You have to be first. Yeah. Be is in the present tense. Yeah. I am. It's how who I am today. Right. So when people say I am sick, I say no, don't claim that I I am I am an emotional either. No, 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 because mm. that's then there's nothing. I can't do nothing for right. you. I am healed. I you can say what you were, but right. who are you today? Right. And then you walk in that faith and you do the things that that you say you are. Right. So you right. must become first. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And that and that's what I help people to do. Like even when they try to veer off, I'm like no, no, no. Like who are you? Who yeah. who do you? You got to recognize the voice because the enemy would tell you. That you can't do it. Yeah. You can't do it. You're not worth it. Yeah. Like, like you tried 50 times. Like it doesn't work for you. Yeah. No, no, you have to kill the noise mm. and listen to the one who created you. So yeah. know who you are and whose you are. Yeah. Right. So it's about who are you today? Yeah. No, I, no, I, lo I love that you said that a couple of things, because I think that uh, we're so used to um, ascribing these false narratives to mm -hmm. ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. So if you look in the mirror and you say, you know, I am fat, mm -hmm. then of course you're going to do what fat people do. That's right. Right? Which is you're going to eat. That's right. Right? Of course, you know, if you say I am sick, yeah. you're going to do what sick, peop sick people do. What do, yeah. what do sick people do? They, they take medicine. That's right. They maintain the sickness. That's right. Because I've never seen medicine heal. That's right. Medicine just maintains. That's right. You know. That's you know, right. Wh where you are. That's right. So if you're if you're if you're claiming I am sick. That's right. What you're gonna do is sick, sick people do, which is take medicine. That's right. That's it. But if you say I am healthy, mm -hmm. you have to, you know, be connected to what healthy people do. That's right. And healthy people work out. That's right. Healthy people eat God's food. That's right. Right. And it's so funny because like for me, um, you know, I have this scale uh, in my house. And um, when I step on a scale, it measures everything, like yeah. body weight, mm -hmm. muscle mass. Mm -hmm. um, and it's funny because, you know, again, because I used to play basketball, um, you know, I'm 6'3", and I used to get upset when I saw the number on the scale. Mm -hmm. But now when I get on this scale, I focus on, because I'm healthy, mm -hmm. right? And so I focus on the number that I love to see, mm -hmm. which is... 180 pounds of muscle. Mm -hmm. So I say to myself, yo, I am, because it's true though, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, we, we talked about the behind the scene, but like a lot of people talk about their sickness, but it's mm -hmm. just, it's just awareness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wasn't aware that I had 180 pounds of muscle on me. Mm. And so if I'm looking in the mirror and I see extra weight and I'm only focusing on that extra weight, Potentially, I could ascribe overweight. I yeah. could ascribe fat. I could ascribe obese. I could ascribe these things mm -hmm. because, right? I'm, I'm, you know, I'm judging with the eyes. But the truth is that I am muscular. I have 180 pounds worth of muscle, and so now I have to ascribe healthy. And then now as I'm healthy, I do, or, or right, because I'm, right. I'm, I'm healthy, I do the things that healthy, healthy people, people do. do. That's right. Yeah. That's it. And so, and so you, know, you know, one of the things that, um, you know, I've noticed about um, you um, and your program um, is that in order for people to, to, to realize whether your program is for them or not, uh, you offer a... Five day experience. Yes, where they get to spend some time with you. Yes, uh, where they get to, uh, you know, you tell them right. Like, 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 what's the what's the importance of 
joining a five day your five day challenge Got specifically? It. No, that's a great question. Yeah. So so people get the experience cultural. Like yeah. I mean, first and foremost, I'm not for everybody, yeah. right? I, I recognize that I'm not yeah. for everybody, but you get to. I, I re, I'm really teaching people. Like how food is the foundation. Yeah. Like, like we're doing some real practical stuff. I'm, I'm having you go in your pantry. Mm. Like I'm teaching you how to read labels. Mm. We clean out your, but I'm in your house. Yeah. Okay. Uh, virtually like, like, yeah. like you're in homework every day, every yeah. day you got a homework assignment. Mm -hmm. Like we in the grocery stores, we doing stuff. So I'm teaching you. So it's not just, it's just not, you know, death by PowerPoint. You just sitting in the note, you taking notes. Yeah. Right. And so I'm engaging with the people. So I'm really teaching the people. So I had, I have people tell me things like, I this one lady says, she's at cultural. I learned more doing your five day challenge mm. than I learned in my entire health coaching certification program. Wow. Right. So yeah. I, I just spoke on, uh, uh, Eric Thomas's UOU summit on mm. Monday mm -hmm. and people were like, this is incredible. Like mm. how come nobody's ever taught me that yeah. I'm 40 years old. How come mm. I didn't notice? I'm like, yeah, they're not teaching this. Yeah. Like, like you have to, if you're not intentional about being healthy, yeah. you're going to unintentionally be sick. <laughs> you see? So you have to be intentional to get this information, yeah. right? And so it's just everyday information, though. A yeah. fifth grader, mm. I can teach a, a fourth grader this stuff, third yeah. graders. Like, yeah. so I'm not talking above you. It's every everyday practical information, but things that you can implement immediately and change your life. So five days yeah. of learning this information, whether somebody chooses to work with me or not when they leave out of there for five days yeah. they will but i tell people you can't unhear what you've heard yeah yeah you're like you you can't uh, uh hear that uh, uh look chick-fil-a yeah. got msg Ooh. and they go and give your baby chick-fil-a you can't do that Ooh. you can't hear that you know all these artificial colors and, and you know and the fruit snacks and then go get your babies just when i say it's linked to cancer and adhd uh mm. adhd and kids yeah you can't unhear that wow right so you leave there changed mm. Right. So, yeah, everybody needs to be in that challenge. If yeah. for nothing else, because I tell people it's not even if it's not for you, it's for your children, it's for yeah. your children's children, it's for generational uh, uh, generations to come. Because yeah. this is about generational health. I know yeah. I know your people, entrepreneurs, yeah. they own this health thing, yeah. Yeah. but generational health, because mm. if you don't have health, like what good is the wealth? Yeah, absolutely. You won't be here to spend it. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Generational health. So if we're talking about leaving, leaving a legacy for you, for some for some people, yeah. leave them a legacy of health. Yeah. Cause right now we're, we're, we're failing in that area. Yeah. Like we, we, like we, even people who are so-called killing it, right. Mm. There's a lot of money left on the table. Mm. Why? Cause you don't, you can't possibly operate at peak proficiency. Facts. If you're not feeling your best, Facts. you yeah. can't, Yeah. you cannot. I don't care what you say. Right. You can say, but I'm making X amount, but you, you still, you could be yeah. making more. Absolutely. Dude, would you like to make more? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Then let's get your body right. Let's yeah. get your mind right. Cause yeah. it's mind, body and spirit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's, let's fix the whole thing. Like, mm -hmm. like let's fix the whole body. Yeah. And yeah. that's what I'm on. Ash. And, and what, and what's the, um, what's the biggest mistake you see people make when they're starting out to, you know, try to try to improve their health. The biggest mistake people make, uh, yeah, I said it before, it's thinking it's in the doing and not the being. Mm, yeah. See, they, they they focus on like do, 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 do. Yeah. See, so so what I've learned is people can do a big thing mm -hmm. for a short period of time, mm -hmm. but they struggle with doing the small things every day. Yeah. Right? So so it's about these these it's a it's not a diet. Yeah. It's a lifestyle. lifestyle yeah. Right? So yeah. so I'm teaching you things you can do for the rest of your life. I'm 52. What yeah. I do at 52, I did at 42, mm -hmm. I did at 32. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do it at 62 and yeah. 72 and 82. Yeah. I got up this morning. I exercised. Mm -hmm. Okay. I exercised last night. I went to dinner. And then last, I said, okay, it's late, but I'm going to still go hit this gym. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'm not doing no CrossFit, nothing like that. You know, I'm, I don't have to. Right. But I got on the treadmill. I did a little, a little 10 minute hit. I mean, mm -hmm. it's stuff I can do and I can still maintain my body. Right. 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 This is God's temple. I got to protect it. I right. got to. Most people walking around with a dirty house, Ash. I'm just saying, we got to clean the house. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's yeah. time to clean the house. And yeah. so, but most people, they just, they start off wrong. They, yeah. folk, they think it's the doing. Yeah. The first thing is identify who is it that you want to be. Yeah. Like, let's start there. Yeah. And then, because once you're clear on who you are, it's easy to do who you say you are. Mm -hmm. But if you don't even know who you are, you think it's just doing stuff, you'll do this, you'll, do, you'll constantly be chasing shiny balls. Oh, this this diet, that diet, this fat, that fat. People ask me all the time, Rochelle, what you think about this? Right. My answer is, I don't. <laughs> I don't think about it. I'm yeah. focused. I'm right here. And I've yeah. been right here for 30 years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. And and so you know you know a lot of I love your content online uh, because a lot of your content is around um, everyday products yeah. that people are are consuming um, that they believe are healthy. 
but are not. Can you share some uh, some examples of things people oh, yes. are uh, consuming? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. You can't unhear this. That's right. That's right. That's right. So uh, I, I'm going to take the uh, insure. Mm. Right. And I say because a lot of us, uh, especially at my age, are caretakers for, um, you know, our elderly parents. And then yeah. they give them things like insure, yeah. thinking it's healthy. Right. I'm like, no, that has artificial sweeteners. Mm. Right. Like artificial sweeteners are linked to cancer. Mm. You know, uh, a lot of them have artificial colors like like it's um, uh, what about. um. I don't know, Chips Ahoy cookies, high mm. fructose corn syrup, probably mm. one of the biggest contributors to type 2 diabetes today. Wow. Like, I would say 70 to 80% of the things on the shelf have high fructose corn syrup, mm. right? If you don't become a label reader, like whole wheat bread mm. has high fructose corn syrup. Wow. Okay? Like, like whole wheat uh, uh, rich crackers, high fructose corn syrup. And so we, so we see these labels and, we, and we, we're falling for the okie doke is what mm. I call it, right? Yeah. Like, like, you have to read the label. Yeah. You have to know. Like, don't assume like, like these manufacturers spend um, hundreds of thousands of dollars tricking us, Facts. right? Yeah. So we have to educate ourselves. So uh, fruit snacks that we give our babies, you mm. know, goldfish, artificial colors, artificial sweeteners, like these things, you know, that we think are healthy, these little juice boxes we put in there. And I'm like, do you understand? Like, like it says most kids shouldn't have sugar. Like they can't even process sugar before the age, until the age of four, but we mm. give them cake on their first birthday. Mm. Like, they shouldn't even really have sugar yeah. before the age of four, yeah. right? So this thing's like we parents for lack of knowledge, mm. right? And so I'm just showing them things that everyday stuff that's in their pantry, mm. right, that have no idea we're killing our, mm. our family. Yeah. Like, unknowingly, but we are. We're setting them up for an early adulthood of disease, mm. our, our children are. And so, I, but I was there. Where, I mean, I call you. I was there, Ash. I was mm. there. My, my son, who's 26 today, mm. at the age of seven, he had five cavities. Wow. Yeah. So I don't want people to think, oh, that's always been, you know, I used to eat unhealthy too. Yeah. I was at McDonald's and Checkers and all these places, uh, Popeye's and KFC. And um, my son had five cavities by the age of seven. So wow. we had to change. Wow. Right. So that's how I know people can change because I changed. Wow. I said, I got to do better. Wow. Like, and that's why I changed. And so, you know, but at the time I was controlling the kids or whatever, but my husband, he went on it yet. <laughs> yeah. He's on it now, though. Yeah. Yeah. He's on it now. And yeah. so, yeah, that's it. It's just everyday things. And yeah. so I'm just trying to help the people. So I go in the grocery store every every other week. I go in the grocery store with my person and say, let's find some products and let's educate the people and let yeah. them know, like, this is not good. Yeah. And, and, what, and what about, like, um, you know, um, some of the healthy things that we see are coming to the market, mm -hmm. like, um, you know, plant-based mm -hmm. um, Beyond Meat, mm -hmm. um, you know, all of these healthy uh, alternatives, right? So because like meat, you know, they say is not necessarily good for you. So you should go vegan or vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And so you should eat something that's plant-based because that plant-based thing is is the best option. Yeah. Well, I would tell you that a lot of these plant-based options are loaded with sodium, mm. right? They're processed. Yeah. Right. And so I don't allow the folks I coach. I'm like, we're not doing process. Wow. That's that's a lab experiment. Mm. Right. It really is. It's a lab experiment. Mm. So like so that's you, not God's food. That's not God's food. Beyond is not God's. That's not God's food. Yeah, it, yeah. it really is possible. It's not God's food. Look, God says I'm possible. I'm possible. OK, it's <laughs> <laughs> not, not not impossible. It's not God's food. It really. Yeah. And so a lot of people are eating those things and not, and not understanding why their blood pressure is not going and just mm. not understanding why their uh, their fingers are swollen, their ankles are swollen, their knees are swollen. That's because you're taking in sodium. You don't even know it. Mm. Even going to, uh, like I said, Chick-fil-A or Panera brand, they're getting I got a salad. But did you know that that salad got like over a thousand milligrams of sodium in there? Wow. Did you know that? Wow. Did you know that 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 one little chicken, uh, chicken bun in a pickle, right? The little Chick Fil A sandwich right. got like a thousand fifty milligrams of sodium. Wow. Okay, you only get twenty three hundred milligrams in a day. <laughs> right, right. Right. That's right. before you even eat one fry. Wow. You're not gonna get that sandwich without fries. Okay. Wow. Wow. So I'm just saying this stuff people don't know, and they wow. like, but. Uh, I just got the market salad, but right. it had chicken in it. Right. Oh, that's sodium, right? right? And so, like, your best bet is to cook yourself. Mm. And I know entrepreneurs, they're like, I'm on the go, I'm on the go. I'm like, right. okay, what you going to choose? You going to choose death or mm. you going to choose life? Because wow. we can talk all day long about we don't have time, wow. okay? But listen, you know what I say? Don't be upset mm -hmm. about the results you don't have from the work you have not done. Don't, mm. You can't be mad at being sick mm. if you're not willing to take the time to be well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And so do so like 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 from a medication perspective yeah. though um do you believe though that every um 
you know, every dis ease, every disease is is reversible. Like that medication um, that that we don't have to take medication. I do believe, yeah. right? There, yeah. there may be a time that you do have to take it. There was a time my husband needed it, mm. right? So if, if they did not give him medication when he was in that hospital, mm. he would have died, yeah. okay? Yeah. So he used it as long as he needed to, mm. right? But we got him off in eight days, mm. though, Ash. Right. Right. Right? right, So that's what the people that come to the program, like they, a lot of them are on medication, right? right? And we start giving them God's food, right. right? So people say, how do I know when I when I don't need it? When Your body will tell you, right? right? Know right. the purpose of the medication. If you have high blood pressure, the purpose of the medication is to get your numbers normal, right? right? Once your numbers are normal, do you need right. the medication, that's a fact. Yeah. right? And yeah. so that's all we're doing, yeah. right? Yeah. So we're phasing out the medication. We're pushing more God's food, phasing out this stuff. And all of a sudden, you don't need that medication anymore that's all we did with my husband yeah that's all i'm doing with the people showing them i'm educating them no you look at it yeah. you tell me why why do you need it oh it's to keep my numbers well mm. what are your numbers today right they're normal well well why would you take that medication because right. right. if you take it on normal numbers then you, that's another issue right mm. you could have a, 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 a hypotensive mm. right incident or a hypoglycemic incident mm. people can die from that too yeah right yeah. so that's all we're doing so i do believe god's food can like See, what, see, when people ask me that, I'm like, you got to know the cell theory. Cells make up tissues. Tissues make up organs. Organs make up organ systems. Organ systems make up the organism, mm -hmm. right? Everything starts at the cellular level, yeah. Ash. Everything starts with food, yeah. right? So anything that you got going on is with a certain system, right? Mm -hmm. Either it's a digestive system, mm -hmm. respiratory system, lymphatic system, central nervous system, right? A mm -hmm. digestive system. Mm -hmm. uh, all these are systems. Like, and so everything that's going on is one of those systems, mm -hmm. You affect the system by affecting the organ. You affect the organ by affecting the tissue. You affect mm. the tissue by affecting the cell. How do you affect the cell? With the food. Mm. You see? Yeah. So everything goes back the to the food. Yeah. Health starts at the cellular level, mm. right? So every day you're, 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 you're uh, um, making new cells mm. every day. Like 3.8 million new cells every second. 3.8 million every second? Every second. Wow. Every second. And guess wow. what? You have a, a say-so in the quality of that cell. Wow. Wow. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's how powerful this is. Wow. 3.8 million every second. Wow. You see? You have to say so. Yeah. So everything you put in your body is either building you up or breaking you down. Yeah. There's no in-between. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you got to look at it. Wow. So when you're like, oh, wow, I do, I do have a say. Mm -hmm. I can change this body. That's why my, that's how we got him off medication in eight mm. days. Yeah. He was almost dead. Mm. Ash, do you understand? Yeah. He was almost dead. Yeah. They, on, on April uh, uh, 5th, yeah. before I left the hospital, they told me he must make it through the night. Wow. wow. That's what, that was what they told me. Wow. He must make it through the night. Wow. Yeah. So I'm talking knocking on death's door. Wow. In eight days, he's off medication. The doctors was like, what in the world? What is she giving you? Right, right. He said, God's food. Mm. Mm. God's food. Yeah. They were amazed. Yeah. God's yeah. food. And you, and so, and you say optimal health mm -hmm. um, is about mind, body, and spirit. That's right. right? Um, what type of, or, or, or what, what do you recommend the, the right amount of physical activity uh, should one do um, in order to, to reach that optimal health? I think we should move our bodies every day. Every day. Every day. Yeah. Every day. It, it doesn't have to be intense every day. Yeah. But I think we should move every day. There's nothing wrong with moving every day. Now, yeah. some people that haven't moved in 30 years, wow. okay? You, wow. can, you can start with three days a week. Yeah. But ultimately, I think everybody should move every day. My, yeah. my goal is to move every day. Yeah. I mean, every single day. And, and what, what, what about those people who say, you know, you, the body needs rest? Like God, God rested on the seventh day. Okay. Yeah. I, I didn't say it had to be intense. Yeah. Okay. And you can choose to do that. I'm not saying that's a bad thing to rest. Yeah. But you asked me what I thought. Yeah. And I say, I think you should move every day. It, yeah. it, it can be a, 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 a 20 minute walk on the treadmill. Yeah. Like, like I'm not breaking down, sweating every, every workout. Yeah. See, cause sometimes it's more about just getting it done. Right. Right. It's the mental part of knowing I just did it. I completed it. Right. It's the art of completion. Most people don't complete things. Yeah, they start, yeah, but they don't right, finish. Right, right. So it's just about getting in there and get it done. Even if you walked in there and said, I'm just going to do this 10 minutes on it. So, so a, wise, a wise woman was, once told me, yeah. she said, Rochelle, like, what's the best way to guarantee you exercise tomorrow? Mm. I said, what? She said, by exercising today. Mm. So if you wake up every day with that, right? Mm. 
best way to ensure our exercise tomorrow is to exercise today. Yeah. So every day, get up and move. Mm. It doesn't have to be strenuous, but mm. get up and move your body because when you do this every day, mm -hmm. you can do it every day. Nice. And so, and, and so you know, um, they join your five-day program. So mm -hmm. make sure, listen, y'all, y'all have to join the five-day program because yeah. at the end of the day, your health is important. Spend five, like you see her passion. Spend five days with her, genhealthchallenge.com. Yeah. I'm going to put the link in the bio. Um, and then after the five days, you, you know, some people, you know, will have the opportunity to work with you, um, you know, more so on a longer term yeah. um, basis. Uh, what kind of results can, can some people expect from your, from your program if they get the opportunity to work with you? Oh, wow. Uh, to have a mindset transformation. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I used to say mindset shift, mm -hmm. right? But I said, no, no, because when they shift, they shift back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we right. ain't shifting no more. We got to be transformed, right, by the daily renewing of our mind because some people need that. They need that everyday touch, and that's what I'm at. I'm with them every day. Yeah. You know, me, my, my, my team, you're being touched by us every day. I'm yeah. seeing uh, everything you eat. Yeah. When I say everything, like every Everything you eat, I'm mm. seeing everything you put in your body. I'm seeing everything. I'm seeing all your numbers, your blood sugar, your blood pressure, mm. your your exercise. I'm seeing everything. So I'm able to give you like live, real live, real time uh, feedback, mm. right? And so that's how they get these results quickly, nice. right? And so literally, people are just and, and here's the thing: we call it the overflow. It's not even about what they're doing. It's like they're teaching this to their family members, mm. to their spouses. So we have like wives in the programs and the spouses, you know, the husbands are losing 30, 40 pounds, wow. like literally, wow, right? Wow, wow. Because they're, you know, as the, as the woman, most of us are the nutrition gatekeepers Facts. in our home. Facts. So we're going out buying the food, making the food, and the husband like, well, I'm eating whatever you make, right? right? And right. so if, if, if there's no more pizza and now yeah. we're eating God's food and that's what it is, right? right? And so right. they're losing weight. Now, you know, husbands and wives are, you know, whatever spouse is in, the other spouse is getting off medication, mm. not even in the program. So we wow. call it the overflow wow. you know i had one of my uh people one of my mentees said her her daughter was 11 years old almost 200 pounds at 11 11 11 almost 200 pounds has she, to be hereditary no <laughs> uh, no because when she got in the program yeah. right her daughter in in a month had lost 30 pounds wow her daughter had lost 30 pounds in a month mm. right no longer having she had uh other symptoms diabetic symptoms they're gone wow. in 30 days, mm, Ash. Wow. Like, wow. can you imagine, like, what that did, what that's doing for her at yeah. 11? Yeah. Like, like her emotional well-being, yeah. her mental well-being, because, you yeah. know, kids can be cruel, Absolutely. right? Yeah. So you imagine, like, this is doing so much for her self-esteem. And so oh. we're doing that to our babies when we're allowing, like, when we're not being parents. Because right. they say, can I have? And no, you can't. Exactly. And this is why you can't. Yeah. Right, because I'm. I want to save you. Yeah. Right. They say let them be kids. I say mm. let them live. Mm, let the them right live. There. That's the one. Right. We're setting them up for failure mm. because we're trying to be their friends. Yeah. God made us their parents. Right. Right. Yeah. Man, pot. Look, if you don't spend the five days with Coach Rowe, you don't love your life. Oh. You don't love your family. You not serious about generational health which happens to be part of generational wealth. That's it. Make sure y'all tap in with Coach Rowe, GenHealthChallenge.com. Um, any, any, any last words for the people? Because you got me Man, fired up. I'm fired up. Yeah. I, I, just, I just know for anybody who would take a leap of faith, yeah. because that's what it is, take a leap of faith and get in this challenge, your life will never be the same. I tell people, I said, this decision yeah. will be up there in the top three decisions you'll make in your mm, life. Because yeah. I know, I know what the future holds. Yeah. I know they can't see it. Yeah. And they may not even believe it, right? I said, well, well, well try, take some of my belief. Yeah. You understand? Because I know what's possible. Because yeah. I've done it. I do it over. And it ain't even about me. It's, yeah. ab it's about what God does through me. Yeah. It's just a vessel. Yeah. This is my assignment. Yeah. That's why I say, I, whether you like it or not, I don't care. I right. can, I will, I must mm. continue to walk alongside mm. you and help you achieve optimal health. Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all. Powerful. Uh, people wanted to connect with you, Coach Rowe. Where can they find you? Uh, uh, if you know my name, you know how to find me. Yeah. Rochelle T. Parks on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, my website is RochelleTParks.com. TikTok, Rochelle T. Parks. Like, that's it. Yep. Rochelle T. Parks. All right, connect. Rochelle T. Parks, again, y'all, I need y'all to hit the link in the description. Join the five-day challenge. She'll get you right on the road to optimal health. You know, make sure you go to Gen Health 
challenge.com or hit the link in the description. We are closing out the vault. Another awesome episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash, the greatest money mindset show on the planet. Listen, y'all, I need you to share this video. I need you to tag your friends. I need every, look, whoever you love, whoever you claim you love, I need you to share this video with them because this is one of the most important things that you will do for them in their lifetime is to help them get on the road to optimal health. So make sure you share, you like, you, you know, make sure you, you know, tag people, do all that good stuff. Uh, follow us at InsideTheVaultShow.com. We're on all social media platforms at Inside the Vault. Me, I am Ash Cash. Make sure you visit me, I am AshCash.com. Follow me on all social media platforms at I am Ash Cash and join our abundance community at abundancecommunity.org. We got some behind the scenes info. You know, she dropped she dropped a lot of gems here, but there's gems that she ain't even say on the show that we got behind the scenes and more. So make sure you join us, abundancecommunity.org. Thank you again for making us the greatest money mindset show on the planet. I will see you. Look, once you get your health right, because I want to I want to keep seeing you over and over and over again. I started, you know, making sure that I'm I'm in optimal health. So I want you to do the same. So make sure. I see you next time, same time, same place, in God's will, y'all. Peace.